Welcome to this primer tutorial for making your own Omniverse application. Most likely by now, you've seen Create, Code, or one of the many other Omniverse apps included in the Omniverse Exchange, and now you can make your own. Making a custom Omniverse application gives you precise control over your workflow by letting you include relevant extensions and customize the user interface to your needs. This results in a boost in performance and custom tailored workflows for you and your organization. This primer goes over the process of building the templates example app. This entails getting the kit app template installed, building the example application, and then packaging it for distribution. To do this, you will need Omniverse Create or Code installed already. This is because custom apps only have access to the public community registry. Create is set as the default Omniverse application to build against, since it uses the largest set of Omniverse extensions, which will then be available to your app. For this to work, you and the end users must have the same Omniverse application installed and a version that's using Kit 104 or later. Okay, so let's get started. First, let's create a new folder for the project. Now we must get the Kit app template from GitHub. I'll be showing the next few steps in the Windows Explorer and also using the command line so you can impress your boss and friends. In the command prompt, navigate to the new directory you created and type in git clone. Then paste in the URL from GitHub under the code button as shown. Alternatively, you can download the zip from the same place shown here. Once downloaded, move it from your downloads folder into the new directory you made for the project. Extract it to the new directory you created, and then open the folder that contains the unzipped contents. If you're using the command line, navigate into the directory where the repo has been cloned. Before going on, remember that we will build against a specific installed Omniverse app and optionally a specific version of it. You can specify the Omniverse application and the version in the repo toml file. Let's take a look at it. Notice that create is the default application to link against since it has the largest set of extensions and in turn available to your application. If you don't have Create, you'll either need to install it or change this to an Omniverse application you have installed. And, as noted, you can optionally require a specific version to lock it into. If you change any of this after building, you can just rebuild it again. Now we need to prepare the build environment with the build.bat batch file. This downloads the latest build files and creates some new folders for the build process. It will then build the application and then put it in the build directory. So now that you know what to expect, let's run the build.bat file. In the command line, enter build.bat. Or in the Windows Explorer, just double click the build.bat file. One quick note, if you suspect there's some errors, but the terminal window closes before you can read what it says, you can add the command pause at the end of the build.bat file to prevent the terminal window from closing. When it's done executing, you should see the new folders as previously mentioned. And if everything goes right, the example application will have been created. Now to make sure that everything is working correctly, you should test the build before packaging. You do this by navigating to this folder. In this example, we have generated three different configurations of the base extension, all of which become separate apps. For these three examples, notice that the name of the example applications use the namespace myname.myapp. This name comes from the base extension that defines our application's behavior. This extension, and therefore the name of the application, can be changed, but we'll go into that in the next tutorial. First, myname.myapp is a bare bones application with just a simple window. The nice feature of this one is that it uses the kit compatibility mode, which doesn't require an RTX enabled GPU. It will run on virtually any GPU. And then there's myname.myapp.editor, which is an example of a simple editor, which lets you add more shared extensions around USD editing to let you build up an app with features like Omniverse Create. This of course will require an RTX enabled GPU, 20 series and up. Last but not least, MyName.MyApp.Viewport demonstrates how to use the kit viewport to visualize USD files. Its functionality is limited to mostly just viewing a USD without all of the fancy editing tools. 
Again, this requires an RTX GPU. These examples are explained in more detail in the templates readme. Let's test our build by launching the myname.myapp.viewport apps batch file by double clicking it. Let's look at the source files. The source folder is where your code and configuration files go. The apps folder has .kit files for the three example apps. Your app should have a kit file like this. A kit file is just a configuration for your app. The batch file that launches it just executes the kit exe with your kit file as an argument. Let's look inside the kit file. The simple app is pulling in some basic Omni extensions along with these two custom extensions. Let's look at those extensions. This one is the main extension that creates a simple window that all three of the example apps share. This other extension is used as a setup to configure the UI layout of the example apps. It is designed to execute last after all the extensions are loaded since its purpose is to configure the layout of the UIs that have already been loaded. Notice that it has a high number set for its execution order to ensure this is executed last. The extensions folder has the extension files. These extensions have the usual folders and files that would be in a typical extension you would create. This is the one that creates the window. This other extension is the setup that executes last to set up the UI as a final pass. You can still develop on the extension and kit file after you've built the application, but you'll just have to repackage it. If you're new to extensions and want to learn more about developing them, we have several tutorials on this subject. A good primer is build an Omniverse extension in less than 10 minutes. A link for this will be provided in the notes below. Now that we know that everything is in working order, we can package our application for distribution. To do this, we use package.bat. It will create a packages folder in the build directory, which will then contain the zip file of the application for distribution. This will leave out all the build files that the end user won't need. So now let's package it. Navigate back to the root folder of the project and execute package.bat. If successful, you should now see a new folder named Packages inside of the Build folder. Inside of the Packages folder, there should be two files, a text file with a version and build information, and a zip file with a name resembling the application name, kit version, and operating system platform. At the time of making this tutorial, it looks like this. But you can rename it to anything you want. It is this zip file that you distribute for installation. Once distributed, you just need to unzip it and run the linkapp.bat file to set it up. This only needs to be done once per installation. Notice that linkapp.bat has created a symbolic link to the kit framework. An Omniverse app is really a configuration of extensions with kit as its engine. The app's configuration can load any number of other extensions that are available to it. This process is also how Create and other Omniverse apps work. From here on out, you just need to double click the appropriate batch file to launch the custom app. And that's it. A new Omniverse app has been born. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial where we will make an app with your own extension and namespace of your choice. Have a great day while developing with Omniverse.